All right, now you can see I installed a couple of packages on this Ubuntu 20.0 formation. So you can see what I installed is technically MySQL, MySQL client, and some Apache and some other applications. Right? So this is what I installed sudo apt apache mysql client mysql server php then the installation went well so it's just the package installation so as per the documentation so the whole process why I am installing this one is to set up a model LMS system on this Linux virtual machine so as per the model website documentation it's highly recommend you to change your uh, the installation uh, to a secure installation which means your my sql server installation to a secure installation so when you say a secure installation what does the secure installation means here normally what happens is after the installation of mysql server you are the virtual machine or your install on this machine uh, is insecure and it's suspectable uh, to attack so if you run the command um, sudo mysql secure installation this command is going to set a password for your root account and it's going to remove the root account accessible from outside the local area network and also it's going to remove anonymous user accounts then it will delete the test database accessible by anonymous usage finally it will reload the user privilege table back to the system so to prevent all the kind of cyber attacks and cyber incidents so it's best to run the command and secure the uh, instances but i got into this problem so if you look at it um it's failed so I was trying to reset the password, but the password reset is failed. So set password has no significance for user root local and the authentication method used doesn't store authentication data in the MySQL server. So you need to consider alter user instead of uh, instead if you want to change the authentication parameters. So, I wasn't able to really fix it. I'm pretty new to MySQL, but I was doing networking and system admin stuff, but this is pretty new to me. So the option for us is to go to Google and do some search in Google to find out the alternative. So after a couple of attempts that I tried with different articles and different steps, but it didn't really go well for some reason, I don't know why, um, all the documentation suggested didn't have enough information. So I finally found a document that really helped me to do this. So I'm just trying to uh, do the same thing here so that I can fix this error message. So I wasn't able to move out from this screen. So what I've done is I'm going to restart a new session. So um, I couldn't close this uh, screen and move on to the next one. So what I thought was to start a new session. So here we go, I'm going to start a new session with my server IP it's a local IP address so I'm going to start I'll enter the username and I will enter my password there you go I am in so I'm going to use this terminal to continue and fix the error message So my first command is I'm going to run or I'm going to go into my SQL. <clears throat> so sudo mysql and enter your root password. Right. Now I am in mysql. So I'm going to run this command and then later I'll put this one in your chat history. But keep in mind, this is what your new password. So you need to replace this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just replace this with a standard password. So I'm going to use it here. Keep in mind, I'm doing this one to secure, but this password is not secure. But this is only for the documentation and it is for your video, right? So enter 
now you can see okay fine so once you run the command i'm going to exit from this screen so to exit the command is quit right so i quit from my sql now let's go and run the same command sudo mysql secure installation enter secure uh, securing mysql server database deployment so it's now going to ask you a set of questions so enter the password for the root user so at this point you're not going to enter your root password of your ubuntu server you're going to enter the root password that you have provided here i'm going to enter that password right so now so it's asking change the password for root no i'll leave it as it is remove anonymous usage the users if you want to remove remove it but again there's a testing environment why so but highly recommended that you need to remove these changes right and so you can again i'll leave it to your decision so you can check you can change it or you can do it right so i will say yes right and then disallow um so this is disallow root login remotely so do you want to disallow the root users remotely i in my case i would say no no so disallow root user remotely i would say no i need root access so i'll say no so you don't need to type in n so you can type anything other than y it's like no right then you move to the next one remove test database so if you want to remove the test database you can say no um uh, if you want to remove it you can say yes again your call right but in my care i will say no right so I just leave it as it is then reload privilege test once yes privilege table all done the database is secure so you need to follow these steps to secure your mysql database and keep in mind your mysql database root password has changed now it is no more your standard password it's the password that you have used it keep in mind write down this password somewhere this is very important for you Right. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll post you another video later on. Thanks.